How many people think twice about a leaf? Yet the leaf is the chief product and phenomenon of life. This is a green world with animals comparatively few and small and all dependent on leaves. Patrick Geddes was born in Ballater, Scotland in 1854 and died at his Scots College, Montpellier, France, in 1932. Geddes was a man of action. He became a pioneering ecologist, a town planner, a botanist, an advocate of the arts and architecture, a community activist, and a publisher and educator. His early life in Perth, living by the mighty River Tay, focused his fascination on all the interdependent aspects of the natural world. His work in India inspired the formation of the Balata Geddes Group in 1998 to explore the current significance of his work. Finding plates by the river Ganges made from compressed leaves reminds me what Geddes had to say about the significance of rivers and leaves. We had travelled from Edinburgh to Calcutta to set up a cultural project. There was an immediate sense of creative partnership to initiate a contemporary Indo-Scots educational exchange. I'm inviting both of you to come in my school. I am running a small children for Agenda school, and um, that is the art school. And we are doing the culture and paintings and terracotta, all the things, palm work, all the things. The people do have those who have all the red buildings, the listed buildings, in such a small area within a square kilometer. That's the strand. So we are right now, we just uh, saw the town hall and the high court. Tagore was sent by his father to this place which is which he occupied and he experimented free learning under a tree. Um, so there's no classroom. He wanted to break away from the concept of four walls of a classroom and started teaching uh, people under a tree and open to sky. So that's what he wanted to preach. And uh, he created this Shanti Nikita. He's a great lover of trees and he planted a lot of trees. And uh, of course, there was a connection of Patrick Gennett and Dr.
Unbeknown to us, the completed boat was transported on the back of a cycle rickshaw for 20 miles from the boatyard to Kolkata. Students decorated the wooden riverboat with symbolic images of leaves and handprints. Six months later, the boat was brought to Scotland to be launched on Loch Kinord near Ballater on the 150th anniversary of his birth, 2nd October 2004. Practical arts and creative skills have an important role to play as we engage after lockdown. This can take people and projects outdoors and provide scope to progress the regeneration of rural and urban spaces. Exploring art of the outdoors and engaging with nature can fulfil our aspirations and need for well-being. <laughs>